Hello guys, back again for part four of the anthology. Now, this is where we were up to. I'd made the, uh, was it the tuck spot envelope pages with the second one, which you probably see on some of the pictures on YouTube. I um, thought I still wanted to keep some of the integrity of the page and this time I actually did it the right way. So that will be in the second page. So what I'm going to do for this tutorial, I might do a couple of things. What I would like to do is um, keep these here because I want to make some tags, well, sort of slight tags to go in there. So this is where you use your bits and pieces of all your cut-off bits. Where's my... Here it is, hang a second. Okay. Now, what we have got here is oh, stuff falling all over the place. That's what we've got here. Um, I'd like to have four of the tags. I think this one, if I remember correctly, went really nice with that. So I'm going to grab that. And I think we may have that one. Oh, that might go really nice on the other side. Then um, with this one. Hmm. That works well. So to say, just love these pages because they're pretty. Okay. I think I already had pulled some aside. So, what I want to do though, quite like that too. What you do is you get your leftover little bits. Leftover, these are bits I've cut off. Um, and you just stick them on, try and get as much as you possibly can. That one might fit on there. Maybe we'll go that way, I reckon. So we don't need all of that. That'll stick on there. Okay, try and organize myself just a little. This is something from Nick the, Nick the Smith. These little vintage seed packets, so, so I might cut them up and have them as little tuck spots as well. So, okay, I quite like the back of that. So, I am going to stick that on there. Okay, so that will have that as the back and writing pad. So, there we go. This is where we use a glue stick again. It's a fairly simple, but it's something that you can do with um, the pages that you've got. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, um, I reckon it might work with that one as well. What do you think? Yep. Put that on there. sure you get everything because it even though I'm going to be sewing around it, it needs to be sewed down now perfect okay, this is how you use up your bits just 
sometimes you use your um, coffee dyed papers and other times you use some nice papers because I'd rather use up these papers than having them just sitting there okay I'll cut this off because I've got a whole heap of sayings which you can utilize in this book as well it's always nice to put quotations and sayings and whatnot in your journal so I'll cut that off there okay so I need that fourth one that goes really nicely with that actually don't use all of that though as I really like that I think it will probably work quite well with this oh this glue because I really like I really like that look at that what do you think that one or that one I kind of like that. Go with that. Now, put that over there. Have got any others? I think while I'm here, I might as well stick these down too. Um, that doesn't look nice with that. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. A bit boring you watching me uh, do gluing, but that's just how it goes when you're doing a process. And you can just see just how easy it is to get awesome tags. Chuck that away. Glue on everything. I don't think it has. It really needs glue in the middle because I sew around the outside, so not so bad if I don't have glue on the outside. I wonder if I pull it down. Ah, it's already stuck there anyway, so I might as well just. sounds like those birds are knocking. Um, hmm. I'm just wondering if I'm smart enough whether I can get both of these on there. Easily be able to get them in there. No, I can't. Oh well. We'll go that way. Yeah. We'll put that on there that way we get it to keep a little bit of that, I think. Even on the, even on the other side is quite nice with the turtles. I'm going to do, even though these are journaling cards, I'm going to add little tabs to them as well, I think. So I'll put it there like this. I think that will fit nicely. 
happy on me as well. Oh, on that. I don't know. We'll see. I don't think maybe we even need to do that, but I'm definitely going to put that on there. Along with a few other bits and pieces, I think. There we go. So, what I'll do... is just pause it for a sec and I'm going to do some sewing around the outside and then I will be back okay we're back again sew them all they're looking good sometimes I got a little bit of it so what you need to do with these is get distress ink or they might get distress ink rather than vintage oxide and then stress um, the edges really makes a difference. Do it on the outs both sides if you want, but probably don't need to now. Um, what I'm going to do what I did with this one rather than waste what was left on there, I put that on the bottom half of that page so always utilize what you've got doesn't take long makes a big difference when you ink it so what I'll do for now is okay for this one I was going to put um, where was that one I think that one was going to go with this. So what I'll do is quickly ink the outside and then that one's going to go in there. Doesn't take long to ink them. Oh. See a little bit of green. side because it is going to be pulled out now what I would like to do is just quickly show you now I'm going to grab some of this that goes rather nice grab my scissors to Two, four, five, six, seven. I think there's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two, three, five, six, seven. I think there is seven. Okay, this one is going to probably just be a little journaling card, not a tag. This is how we, you have them as journaling cards which you can stick into tuck spots or you can just um, make them into tags as well. So what I'll do, I quite like the frayed edge look on them. Um, it's a fairly fairly big wide one that will go on there so just going to make it as simple as anything get out the old stapler I 
I think it is. I'm hoping it is. Actually, if you give it a dot of glue, it ain't going to move. And then I'll go over there with some the staples later. Okay. Might be thinking, sorry. Tiny bit. Love this fabric. It is so pretty. Make sure it sits in the middle. It's funny how it looks like it's in the middle on this side, but when you turn it around, it doesn't look like it's in the middle. And then now it's like that. Make sure it's secure. So that one will go in here. The little tab hanging out. That's cool. And which one did we say? Who was the other one? It was that one and that light one. That's it. So I'll just do it on that. And then I'll do the rest off camera because I've got plenty of other because I want to do teach you something else. Just while we got a little bit of time. it's in the middle love these fabrics they're so pretty and it only takes a little tab and I quite like the way that it frays Simple job. You think I'd be able to get it right, hey? But no. There's ways of fixing these. Now push it down. This is where you get out your hammer, which is broken. Give it a bit of a bash. There we go. I'll do that one on that one as well. Make sure it's flat. Ugh. And get glue all over you. Oh my goodness. Okay. It's looking rather messy. But I like that. I really like it. So that'll go in there. And that'll go in here. And then something like this could either go on this side, a little tag or whatever sitting there. That's why I don't want to put a tag on there. Um, and I mean, I'll get another one. So you can put tags all over the place. I quite like that. And so some of these will go into this one. But I will do that in a minute for now. what we've done very very simple and you can utilize the paper as well that you know that paper that you're lucky enough to get um, this paper oh, that's, um, this one cut up these as well you know if you want to cut up these and make them into tags and slide them in as well so that over there now, what I would like to show you as well, and we'll finish these off, but I really like the idea. Where are we? That goes 
ini ya. Ini I have little tabs sticking out. Try to keep them. Um, I really like the idea of these. I've got these left over. And um, I'd like to make it a little special. So what I would like to do, maybe on the first page, what you do is move this out of the way. You can get your sticker. Um, it's almost the perfect size. I might have to cut it down a little bit. Just a bit. Okay. Get your ink. Now this is it's a bit thicker paper which I uh, dyed it on so it's sort of almost similar width to cardstock but not quite and I've done these in some of my very first journals at Zipper I did a little bit different I had I actually did um, like a couple of layers on top of each other like that and then I hand stitched and then put that on there but what I would like to do is just do that glue that down this is how you can use leftover bits because they're such nice papers and because it's I've got them in the journal anyway it's going to really tie it all in so just glue this down this is how you can make your journals look extra special I'll just show you how to do one. I've got my work cut out for me. I'm going to be doing it on um, a few of them until I use up all the papers. So what I do now is, let's see, that's the first page. Roll that down, really make sure that it's down. Put the glue on. Then I get my needle and thread. And where did I put it? Ah. Okay, 23 minutes. Oh, let me just quickly show you. going too long oh my goodness where is it here it is. here it is here it is you get yourself a phone book or whatever you've got and then okay so you get two tutorial two tutorials for the price of one in this one so even though it's um step four what we'll do I always like to pre pre um, cut it, so I'm just gonna do a couple of dots along there. So just some sun attacks. I mean, if you really do not like hand sewing you can run it through the sewing machine but I really quite like the idea of doing something a little special sometimes I just I really like hand sewing so um, I do this now do I go along the edge I don't know I'll see how I go so what I want to do is get some now do I go for a variegated? Make it all work, okay? 
I reckon even maybe this colour would be nice. Something like that. Or something a little bit on the that side. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'll just pause it for a sec while I pick something and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back again. This will be a little bit longer than normal, so I've, I've gone with this and I still may um, have a little bit if I do a second row. So what we're going to do is I just tied a knot. You get six strands in a embroidery thread. I always get two. So as we've done pre-holes, you just go up and down. What I reckon I could probably do is just go up and down with one colour. I think I might do that and then go back through with that colour. That may work. So as you've got holes in there already, I hope I'm in camera, it um, oh, makes it really easy. She says, but she's struggling. Here we go. And it's quite a good thickness. I think this comes from when I was doing some scrapbooking back in the day. It really isn't that hard and it adds a little bit of unique texture to your journals. Makes them a little special. Gives them a bit of a, uh, a rustic um, home, home spunny, you know, look. Quite like it. Okay. Now, try to be as quick as I can. You can probably fast forward some of this if you like, because I'm going to see whether I go back through. it like that or I go back through with this thread I'm trying to keep this under 30 minutes if I can how are we going oh 28 I think that looks pretty good and then you just either tie that off how you tie off is go like this Leave, leave it a tad longer and maybe even because it's two threads you can do this if you really want to I'm going to do a knot anyway well I'll, le I'll leave it at that and I'll let you know in the next video whether I decide to go back over there because it's we're sort of getting very close to the end so that's what I wanted to teach you today anyway that you can Use your leftover little bits and pieces, distress inked, and how to make these. Quite happy with how that has turned out. Thanks guys for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. I'm not sure what we're going to do. The envelopes. Finally, I'll probably do the envelopes for the front. <laughs> okay guys, see you later. Thanks for watching, and I hope you've created along with me. Bye guys. See ya.